All right, so need to uh, put down some parts. Uh, there's a little bypass capacitor there. I've got some 0.1 microfarad um, uh, 0603s. Uh, those are what 16 volts, so that'll be fine. And uh, one of the parts goes there. One of the parts goes there. This is the uh, 573, and this is the 541. So let me get some uh, solder paste on these. Um, I do that with a uh, uh, hypodermic uh, uh, hypodermic nozzle. Can I get this in the field of view? And uh, so I'll just uh, goop these up, put the parts on. I'll show you after I goop them. I can't do it under the microscope. Um, so I'll do it, uh, do it off camera. Then I'll come back and show you uh, kind of a gooped up uh, board ready to put in the oven. All right, uh, here's before I put the part on. Uh, there's a bead of uh, solder paste uh, down the center of where the uh, legs are going to be of the IC. And then the uh, uh, capacitor has a couple blobs on it. And the same on both sides. So let me, uh, let me put a part on. Okay, we have, uh, have the parts on. You can see they're just kind of set in there on top of the goo and uh, the little capacitors stuffed in the goo everything's ready to go you have to have pretty steady hands to put these on um, so it's ready for the oven uh, let's pop it in and uh, see what happens okay not too bad um, we have uh, maybe a couple couple touch-ups to do. I don't see any um, shorting, uh, which is great. Seems to be um, maybe a couple pins uh, that need a little uh, extra solder. It's sometimes hard to know whether there's a little bit under there or not. I usually just go by and touch it anyway. It doesn't, doesn't hurt just to touch it. And uh, yeah, otherwise everything looks great. Uh, let's take a look at another one. Let's see, that was the register. Let's look at the pro program counter. Uh, looks, looks pretty good. Uh, even the tantalum is on there pretty nice. All right, and there was one problem. Um, this RAM chip, the other chip, the other chip, uh, the other chip solder, soldered fine. Uh, you can see, it, this is a good example on this chip. If you take a look at, uh, what is this, a 20, 24 pin package, 28 pin package, anyway. If you uh, look at the, the first one there, there's a little bit of extra solder. That never hurts. A little extra is, uh, is fine. It didn't bridge, so that's fine. If you go all the way down there, though, to the second to the last one, you can see that one looks like it doesn't have any solder at all on it. It still might have a little bit underneath. You never know. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and touch that one up. That one definitely looks like it doesn't have enough solder on it. So the problem I saw with this board was that the um, legs on this uh, RAM part were just a tad bit wider than the pads. The pads were kind of skimpy on the layout that, uh, that was an eagle. Uh, if I had to do it over again, I'd maybe make a custom uh, custom package or custom uh, pad layout for this part with uh, uh, pads extended a little bit. Uh, it's kind of hard to see here uh, at this angle, but it looks like the uh, solder did wick underneath, and I, th I think it's I think it's on there. Um, it just uh, a little harder to inspect when uh, the legs kind of go farther than the pads do. Uh, but otherwise. I'm quite happy. I like my little oven. You know, you shouldn't be um, too nervous about surface mount. It's not as, I used to be real nervous about surface mount. I thought, oh, I can't do that in my garage. It's too tricky. I need an oven. I need this. I need that. Um, I started out just using a hot plate. And uh, believe it or not, hot plates work just fine. <laughs> um, 
There's some great YouTubes on, on hot plates. I mean, go get a $10 hot plate at, you know, Target and uh, stick your parts on there and just cook them. And it works just fine. In fact, it works a little better in some ways. You can actually watch the solder melt and you actually know exactly when to take it off. Um, you're not going to get a perfect profile out of it, but, you know, you're not trying to sell these things. You're not trying to put this stuff into avionics or something where it needs to have good uh, reliability. You're just doing it at home, so uh, don't be scared of it. Um, even even just doing it by hand with a soldering iron is fine, but um, that's that's a that kind of kept me away from it. I, I, I did quite a bit of that. It just kind of kept me away from it. It's just kind of a hard thing to do, but just get a hot plate and get some solder paste, get a hot plate, you're ready to go. It's real easy, trust me.